All right, let's move on to statements. From worksheet, how do we do statements? Really just putting exactly the same information into a statement form, which we have been doing it since work, uh, week two on some of the assignments, right? Assignments, typically I'll give you one or two problems that actually leads to, at the end, doing this entire financial statements. So we start from income statement, which captures revenues and expenses. Really, we're just capturing worksheet information and copy it to a statement format that has the company name, the type of the statement, the time period. If it's a monthly statement, it will be month ended, certain date. If it's a yearly statement, it will stay year ended, certain date. Okay, at the end, the goal here is to get to net income and net loss. Again, profitability of the business. The profitability is the main goal for income statement. Okay, so once we have this net income information, $3,700, remember this is linked to statement of retained earnings. We want to update retained earnings account. Okay, so for statement of retained earnings, that $3,700 you will see appearing here again. This is how these two statements link together. Okay, profitability is only very narrow perspective, just revenue and expenses. Here, this is the total kept earnings from prior years total accumulated earnings from before, and now we add in the new earnings this year, or this month. Okay, if there's dividends given out, also subtract this. This will eat up a part of the earnings, but just think of this as a gift to shareholders. So at the end, the new earnings balance after this, year, this month's operation will be $5,900. Okay, so this is the second statement. The simplest one, really, this is just capturing the changes in earnings. Okay, so now we have $5,900. This is the up-to-date retained earnings, and this will link to balance sheet. So you will see exactly the same number representing the second statement here. Okay, make sure you understand this, because worksheet, it has the old balance of retained earnings. It's not up-to-date. All the other accounts are up-to-date. Worksheet, it's not up-to-date because the net income is here. Okay, so make sure under balance sheet, this retain earnings that you represent here will be the same retain earnings that you see in the second statement, but not in the worksheet. Okay, because the worksheet has an update that information, you see net income over here. Okay, but balance sheet, you will see retain earnings up to date based on the second statement's earnings, earnings information, and then all the other accounts. Assets just falls into asset category. Liability, we see it under liabilities category. And common stock, just directly copy-paste the same dollar amount. Okay, so there's probably a difference that you see from this statement compared to Chapter 2 or Chapter 3 statement. And you have two columns in the asset category. And really, this is just summarizing. This is because of the accumulated depreciation, the long-term asset accounts here. So remember that I mentioned book value of an asset will be changed whenever we depreciate assets. Do you see the original cost for furniture is how much? The original purchase price for furniture. $18,000, and we see accumulated depreciation 300. So meaning that right now, after this month of using this furniture asset, really the value is close to 17700 instead of the original $18,000. Okay, we're trying to depreciate the asset, reduce and deduct the value of it. The usefulness of it. Now, what about building? Building, you see the original cost purchase price is $48,000, and now we accumulate, we depreciate it by $200, $200 here. Okay, so the current value really is not no longer $48,000. We think of it as the book value of the building is $47,800. Okay, so the right, the middle column here, the left-hand side column, really is there just to do a subtotal for these assets. Okay. 